Good morning, YouTubians. Gary with VW Jawbreaker. Welcome back to another gonna be a hot day here in Florida. <laughs> it's summertime, what do you expect? We're gonna get rocking and rolling this morning on the 1960 build. The Volksrod meets Baja meets, it's a car I wanna build. So let me bring you up to speed real quick, show you where we're at. Also, don't forget to check out vwjawbreaker.com for all your t-shirt, merchandise, social links, and all kinds of other cool stuff I will be adding to the website. So keep checking it out. All right, fine, let's dive into the 60. So let me bring you up to date. Ah, here we go, the 60. So we have got, of course, heater channels in. We have rear quarters done. We've got rear patches back in here done on both sides. We have the inner firewall done. Da, 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 da. Firewall is done fully inside and out. Welded, ground, everything's squared away. We have inner fenders done. I've got a couple little, I got a couple spots to grind. The only thing left, of course, is what's missing on the lower A pillars, which we have. So, believe it or not, we are at that pitiful, pivotal point. We can go ahead and cut the bracing out of this body. Ah. So, the bracing's coming out today. That'll be out. And then, I was messing around with some CAD designs. Cardboard-aided design, right? CAD. Yep. Hey, manila envelopes is kind of like a CAD. So, I was talking with a buddy of mine. And I have a really cool idea for the back. I'm not going to do, um, uh, I was thinking about doing like a half deck lid and, you know, leaving it on here or something, but decided not to. So I got another really cool idea. So I was trying to figure out how to cut the back of this. And here's what I found. If I bring, if I cut it up here in the corner, all right. It should put us right about here. Problem is, I didn't like it just coming up and over. So I found that nice arch right there would look really nice. Believe it or not, that same arch is the same diameter as a four inch hole saw. Boom. Mark my curve, driver side, passenger side, template right up in there. Bam. So we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of uh, chopping on this today. Get the heat, get the uh, bracing out of the body, get the back cut. Then we'll kind of see from there what we feel like doing next. Oh, hold that thought. I've also got around all the windows fixed. So that's done. I've got a little bit of grinding left to do on these two spots, but I ran out of little uh, flap discs. I like the mini ones. They work great for that. Then a local guy sold me a pretty sweet hood for pretty cheap. The only thing it needs is a couple little patches right here. Other than that, this thing is solid. It's in 10 times better shape then the other hood was in anyway enough jibber jabber more worky worky let's get after it
<laughs> Don't do it like I did it. The reason being is with this welded here, this welded here, and then this brace put in for extra support and security, I can't get to my welds. Didn't think that through too well, did I? Should have did something on top, maybe corner, corner or something. Well, hindsight's always 20-20. So, let's see what else I have to get in there and possibly get that out. I got a plasma cutter. Might as well try to have fun with that. What do you think? What do you know? It didn't fall apart. Look at that. No more bracing. I love it. So I learned a lot on bracing. I probably should have gone to the inside here um, instead of the front. But, you know, live and learn. Live and learn. Plus, the bracing I had was not long enough. So, hey, I worked with what I had and I made it work. And... It's solid. Minus the A-pillars, it's solid. It ain't falling apart. I'm happy. So you know what? We got the plasma cutter out. I'm kind of dying to see how the back of this is gonna look. So let me reset up here and let's do that. Why not? And pardon the fan, it's hot. All right, let's give this a whirl and see how it turns out. I'm gonna cut on this side of the line. That way I can grind back to it if I need to. Yeah, whatever. Glasses, gloves, let's do this. In that angle. Really am. So this there, hold on. Alright. The way this follows, I left just a little bit. Alright? So I can come in here and clean that up to the edge just like I want it. I think that works. 
actually looks kind of good. All right, to the other side. So I may or may not have blown a small hole in the package tray. We already fixed a bunch of other holes. What's one more? And this is really looking good. Tell you what. <laughs> Man. Starting to get excited. Starting to get excited. Again, A pillars. That's really about it for the exterior. That piece I actually cut through. So I got that all welded up. Looks good. I really like the contour in the back of that for some reason. I don't know why. I just really like that contour. I think it looks nice. Ow. Welder part there. Yep. So as you see, most of the body is down to bare metal. Or as close as I can get this old metal down. Um, I ended up coating the whole thing with Osfo. So this whole body is already coated with Osfo. It's not going to continue to rust. I don't think that I don't know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing at this point. Maybe not everything else. But you wing it. And that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing on some of it, not all of it. So next, this is what we're tackling here next. Got a little bit of rot holes here. Uh, I got one, oops, on the other side. I got one little hole right there. Uh, I got a little bit of rot going across, nothing much. But we're gonna try to make some filler pieces so we can just cut out little sections I have an idea on bending this metal, or bending the scrap metal, I should say, to contour and get it really close. So that'll be coming up next. And then we get to the interior. Get the interior cleaned up. 
We got a couple little small patches down here to make, and then that'll be pretty much good. You know, the entire interior is osphoed as well. Um, a couple minor holes in the package tray over on this side down by the fender well. Other than that, then we can go ahead and start wire wheeling and get everything prepped for primer. Didn't think I was going to say it anytime soon, did you? Primer! <laughs> Looking forward to uh, actually getting the body done so I can start on the chassis. That's where I feel I'm going to have the most fun. So I appreciate each and every one of you being here. Thank you for the support on not just the 60, but just in everything in general. It means a lot. You guys are a fantastic group of friends. Um, help keep me motivated, pushing along. And now we're getting even more excited and we're making more progress. So make sure you have yourself a wonderful week. Take care. Be kind to one another. Till the next time, be good.